big part of my life is pretty normal. Like anybody else, I wake up, I hang out with my son, I eat breakfast, kiss my wife goodbye, and I go to work. I'm a dentist, and I love what I do. When I'm at my office, I really try to be present with my patients and be in the moment. Then I have this other part of my life where I have to look into the future. So I had gone in to see Dr. Stanley, and I had told him that I had been contemplating applying computer vision to the world of dentistry. And I was like, what's computer vision? Computer vision is a field of computer science, is a subfield of artificial intelligence, and what you're essentially doing is teaching machines to see and process visual content in much the same way that the human brain processes visual content. And I was like, <sighs> and he looked at me, I still didn't get it, it was just like right over my head. My dad was a dentist. My dad was a dentist. We, we started, started talking. talking. <laughs> Artificial intelligence is an incredibly uh, powerful technology. It will touch uh, every category and every industry. With GumGum, Gum, we started by applying uh, this technology to advertising. We solved a number of problems in that category and built a fairly successful business. We then moved on and applied this technology to the sports and specifically sponsorship world, where uh, we've been seeing success and now we're applying it to healthcare. Deploying computer vision, whether you want to identify a cat or a cavity, um, is effectively the same kind of effort. You need to acquire data, you need to label that data, you need to feed that data into, in our case, we're generally working with neural networks, and then you need to optimize the neural network to solve for that particular problem. We've collected the largest collection of dental x-rays in the world. We've worked with thousands of dentists around the globe to annotate those x-rays, and we've used that data to train our neural networks. I thought that AI was like the stuff that you see in movies with spaceships and things. What we found is that our AI is able to consistently identify these issues really at superhuman levels. But I started to understand how it could change dentistry. It's reliably giving you output uh, that is at near 100% accuracy. I had to learn the basics of AI, and then from there, I had to apply my clinical knowledge to further the technology. So I become the dental brain in the room. You know, auto charting is a great example of the technology in action. The first step is identifying the tooth number. Then we use RAI to identify the issues that are present, uh, things like cavities, bone loss, faulty restorations. Then we're able to take all this information and create a chart of the patient's mouth. It's better for patients because it gives practitioners more insight and enables them to then prescribe better treatments. Dentists want to focus on dentistry. They want to focus on patient care. Though with AI, what we can do is automate some of these procedures and make it so that the doctor can focus on what we do best, which is empathy, patient care, critical thinking. This allows my patients to get better treatment and overall better care. So I think the work that we're doing is incredibly exciting and also going to usher in profound change for the field of dentistry. And we're really not interested in stopping there. As we continue to deploy these capabilities into market, we have the ability to move beyond oral health and into the realm of overall health and really dramatically improve uh, the nature of the care that patients are receiving and ultimately improve their lives.